फिर हाय रोहित का वो यू ओके सो आई हैव गॉन थ्रू योर सी वी एंड आई एम गुड विद दैट सो वी आर डायरेक्टली जम्पिंग इन टू इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन टेक्निकल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी हाउ टू सेंड अ डॉक्यूमेंट टू एक्सटर्नल सिस्टम Yeah, we can send document to the external system via integration. So, and before making the integration, we need to make sure um few of the things like the external system must accept the document, and um what is the type of document they are accepting, and what is the limitation of the documents, the file size of the document. Uh, and and the secure connection we need to make sure with all this necessary details then after that we need to make the connected system mm, with the base url mm, and with the mm, proper authentication either it can be api authentication or auth authentication it depend upon the external system how we are doing it, uh, how we are, um, how we need to co connect with that and after that we we need to make a http integration with uh, either put method or post method and in the body we need to pass the document mm, uh, in the body we need to pass the document uh, um, and we need to ma make sure that the context type is the document uh, to to send um, to send this document to the external system uh, and we also need to handle the error also if there is any error then we need to handle it uh, by http response okay so what is difference between uh, put and post uh, in integration type yeah so the uh, put and the post uh, in the put we can update a, a record existing record um but in the post we will create a new brand new record for that in the external system okay so what is web api and uh, uh, in which case we will use uh, like a, a web api and in which case we will use integrate um the web api is uh, when we have to establish the connection uh um between uh apn to the external system i mean to say like uh, when we apn need to call uh, when the external system need to call the apn to either to write data or retrieve from it we need to be make a api and um, integration is uh, nothing but when apn want to connect to the external system either to exchange data or perform some action then we need to make a integration okay so what is basic user so basic user is a, uh, is a business user which can, who can perform uh, perform the task record uh, view the record report and have an access to the site and tempo if the proper configuration is done proper security configuration is done for them if they are not having the privilege the basic user will not be have, able to see anything uh, and basic user also can't access the designer also okay so what is uh, query process analytics query process analytics is to retrieve data from the process model so we need we make a query process analytics to get data like um, uh, to uh, some uh, query the data of the process model and that data we can use in to uh, so in the dashboard to perform a task to the users business users okay so let's say uh uh like i'm deploying one process model and in that process model i have added a node that is uh, calculating let's say uh, that is calculating uh, some calculation like total amount how much we are sending for particular or particular item and in the 
pre previous to this like previous to this version we don't have that expression so while deployment few few of the process model are running and uh, so will will that like get affected if i'll deploy the new uh, process model no the once you deploy that uh, new process model the uh, the process the instance which is running currently right now it will be running in the older version only so okay. nothing is going to impact but those those expression data which we want to capture it won't be available on the previous version so the instance won't impact but the uh, the new changes will not be reflecting into that okay so what is the return type of uh, query entity and query record? Uh, return type of query entity is data subset and return type of record a uh, query record is map. Okay, so have you worked on portal? Uh, yes, I have worked. Okay, so what is a uh, portal and uh, how to see the error in portal? Uh, portal is uh, the mm, uh, is a special privilege which is given to the uh, business uh, users who want who will not be having their login credentials inside the appian but they will be able to access with uh, some um, authentication and they can perform the actions uh, on the uh, on this uh, portal page and they can some view document and it depends what uh, is the requirement we can configure to them but they and they will not be uh, having the business uh, um, the user credentials inside the appian uh, to um, the uh, inside the appian so that it, it became uh, easy for like um, normal users to make their registration and perform any kind of activity on on the portal um, we, um, and um, once they are registered into the por um, uh, into that portal then we can give them the access uh, of the app in then later depending on the requirement we can do that okay so uh, let's assume we have a process model scheduler process model that scheduler process model, when uh, we are deploying it, generally it will run like immediately. So how you will handle that? So while deploying the process model, we uh, we can do one thing like we can have a, a, a XOR gate and we'll check um, that if uh, uh, we are deploying it today and time has already Past that time after the, the deployment is happening, then we can have a XOR get and make the in, in that one will have a constant where we'll make it as a false. If it is false, we'll directly end it to the end node. And uh, uh, after the deployment, we need to do one more deployment to the production environment for making that constant as true so that it will not happen once again. Mm, this way we can handle it. And I'm sure there is other way also, but uh, not very much sure about it. Okay, so uh, like, what is hot fix in APN? So a hot fix is in APN is when there is any issue from the APN side uh, in updated version, then APN do a hot fix. So it's uh, we can say it's a bug of the APN then they active, uh, do the analysis and fix it and then after that we'll get a hot fix it means uh, uh, they will give a, a hot fix patch where those bugs will be fixed and that we need to import in our system okay so currently in which version you are working uh, i'm working on 24.3 version okay sure. uh thank you rohit that's it from my end is there anything from your end? Like, do you have any question? No, no, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.